then when I tasted the curry, that was, you know, good choices. Tribe choices. All right, garlic powder. Garlicky, garlicky chicken, garlicky chicken, garlicky chicken. Whatever, spices. Okay. Um, I also see there's some pure vanilla back here. We would not use the vanilla. That would not be a good idea here. There's also pure mint extract. I'm thinking like mint chicken. You know, it's probably a delicacy in some countries, but not here. I can still taste the curry in my mouth. Um, balsamic vinegar, I mean it's delicious, but I'm thinking like it's liquid, liquid on liquid, we already have a lot of oil on there, so we're going to go no. Um, heavy whipping cream, not right now. Okay, cool. So now we're going to use our oven mix. This way you don't burn, and we are going to bring this over to the magical land of the lodge. Here we are in the magical land of the lodge. Now in the lodge you can't wear hats, so that's where my chef hat went. Now it's time to put the chicken in the oven. I should have brought my oven mitts. They have some here. Now we're gonna wait until the juices are running clear to take out the chicken. So we're just gonna wait it out, see what happens. Hey, holla, what ups? Maybe dance a little bit. Now it's time to put potatoes in. Be careful that you don't burn yourself on the boiling water. It's a little scary. It's like, put your hand away. Ah. All right, so now we're gonna wait for them to become soft. First, we need to cover the broccoli, just like we covered our delicious mashed potatoes. So we're gonna pull this off, bam, cover the broccoli. And then we're gonna put it in the microwave for six minutes total. But after three minutes, we're gonna stir it up, you know, shake up the place a little bit. So um, make sure your microwave is disgusting first. That is an important characteristic. Three minutes. Yay! Now it's been three minutes, so we're gonna to wanna to take the broccoli out. And stir it. So, ooh, our handy dandy spoon, be careful of steam. Stir the broccoli. I don't really know. You know, we're doing this because the broccoli becomes complacent and, you know, it needs a little steady gravy. Put it in for three more minutes. When the broccoli is done, take it out. <laughs> it's probably very hot because of the water and the steam. And then you just, I mean, if we want to add salt, we totes can. I don't, you know what? If the broccoli gets those little brown things on it, that means it's cooked really well. So that, bonus. Okay, we don't have any salt. Um, I could add nutmeg, but I won't. Oh, I think this might be salt, let's see. Yeah, so we're just gonna shake that on in there. Whatever, it's like the tiniest bit of salt, so that's that. Mm. Our broccoli is done. So now we're gonna put the broccoli on the table with the other food that's completed. My Lizzie mashed potatoes. It's Lizzie's specialty. This is our table of completed food. Okay, so now that the potatoes have been boiled, we're gonna pour them in this so that the potatoes stay inside but all the water comes out. It's kind of a nifty piece of cooking. However, it's very like difficult to Maneuver. So we're just gonna water first, la, 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 la. and then hopefully the fire alarms will go off. Cross your fingers, ladies. I think if we were to mash it in this colander, however, the mashed potatoes would come out of the little holes. So we're gonna put it back in this bowl. We're just gonna try to mash it up. We're gonna see if this tool is any better, any more effective. Doubt it. See. I mean, little baby potato pieces are coming out. That's promising. Just mash, 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 mash. I mean, I guess like in hand-to-hand -hand combat though, like skin physically 
I'm just gonna push down on it. Mash it all up. Just hit it a little bit. That seems to help too. Just try to cut it a little bit and mash the pieces. Now we're gonna add some more ingredients to this. Milk, our trusty milk. We're gonna just pour it in there. I mean, make sure they're like doused in milk. We want it to be milk. You're gonna want to heat up the butter before you put it in the in the potatoes, but you know, lesson learned, plastic cups, not microwavable, bad choice. Always remember to add your trusty garlic salt and then you're done and it's ready to eat. Yummy, yummy. Hi, we are now magically back at the Magic Lodge. Ooh. So now it's time to take our chicken out of the oven. Remember our rule, things coming out of the oven are hot. So we are going to use these magic towels to take the chicken out. And it is hot. Ah! All right, look at them cooking in those juices. Then we're going to turn the oven off. So that's an important step. And we're going to let them cool off for like a minute or two. And then we're gonna serve it on this lovely dish with our other food. Unfortunately, the rebel mashed potatoes made by me were lost in an accident coming over to the Magical Lodge, which we are not going to get into currently. Look at this beautiful finished product. Mmm, delicious. La 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 la